<laughs> Joyce is on a short, short watch. I am. I'm waiting, um, waiting for Ruta to arrive, which I'm now told is going to be today rather than tomorrow. Oh, and good. I'm yes, and unfortunately, I'm nearly out of data, so it's going to be just a quick mm -hmm. hi, everybody. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> house, house is the new house. Um, it, it's great, but um, it's a state of flux. I think we'll be surrounded by boxes for quite some time. <laughs> I do it every year. Oh. When I came, when came over to yours the other day, I thought, oh no, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it's well, not me who's moving. <laughs> can I say, I think we're probably a bit past it. <laughs> oh. Where but have you moved to then, Joyce? We, we've moved to uh, Merritt Park. Oh, lovely. St. Valerie's Road, isn't it? Or... Yeah, yeah, it's uh, close, closer to um, town centre and also the park's just at the end of the road, which is lovely. Mm -hmm. And hopefully one day when it's not wet, freezing or whatever, and we've uh, unpacked some more, we might actually get to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can walk down, right down into the Bourne Stream and walk all the way through into the town centre there. Yes. Up yeah. to the lower gardens. Absolutely. Yeah. That's where um Andy he lives out that way. Remember Andy? Yeah. He, lived. Mm -hmm. he he used to do that. Oh right. You mm. can walk through the Bournemouth Gardens, lower gardens mm. up past you know where the M and S is and right up that way. Uh-huh. Yeah. And and his house was up that way somewhere. Oh yeah. very good. Mm. It's nice. It's, it's better that end as well because there's no grockles either. They, they're at the bottom. <laughs> end. It's over road pier end. Oh, that's, true. that's absolutely true. <laughs> Very nice. How is everyone? Everyone okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Rare end. Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't Did got any eat? external visitors today. All oh, right. Okay. Don't know why I was. I think I. I just put. I just lit. I know. I thought, I thought it was a hair on my tongue, and it was like, ugh. It's like <laughs> yellow on my finger. It's not. It's paint. Where I've been messing about with paint. Oh dear. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's mm. freezing out there. Mm. Yes, it's very icy. Went out with a dog and that was enough. Yeah, me too. My, I didn't go far. <laughs> but like I say, my, my car wasn't frosted over or anything, so that was very weird. Mm. Yeah, no, no, the windscreen, that was all, well, I hadn't had to go out in it, so I don't know, but all the cars were frosted. I was already, you know, to scrape it all, I think, you know, you know start me scraper and that. I was kind of... I wasn't disappointed, but I was surprised. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Joyce, I must tell you. Yes. Thanks to you and giving me those canvases, which was, thank you very much. That's um, right. Which I have now got, I don't know if you can see, I've got them all sorted out and stacked up over there. Oh, yes. <laughs> I decided that my craft stroke art room needed sorting out. So I've spent the last couple of days absolutely stripping everything out. I've given away loads. I've put loads of stuff on recycle and I've just got boxes and boxes of stuff everywhere, which was going <laughs> to new homes. <laughs> and that was all because I had to clear a shelf to make room for those canvases. Oh, right. <laughs> so <laughs> it was... <laughs> It did me a really good turn in more ways than one. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> if there's anything else I can give you, I will. I will definitely do so because I have got so much art stuff. Oh, yeah. Dear. And well, always craft. Yeah. So now you've moved. Have you got your own little art room? Well, Sorry. I. It's um. It's a sort of a um, combination room. You yeah. know, it's mm. uh, art. It's guest room. It's yeah. whatever. Everything. But there's more there's more space, which is nice. Yeah. Which is That's lovely. Nice. But then I do have a lot of stuff. And yeah. uh, I'm I'm trying to um uh 
offload um, a crosswalker, a brand new crosswalker, which has never been used and um, won't be used because I didn't have a bad knee when I bought it. Oh. <laughs> However. Yeah. Oh, yeah, is that, I, used to have one of the, I used to have one of those. They are, they are seriously hard work. Is that the one with the two sort of foot yeah. pedals? You go Good. backwards and forwards. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's quite a large machine and it's quite yeah. heavy. Yeah. And um, I wasn't able to use it before because our, our um, floors weren't substantial enough. Mm. And, uh, mm. and I, I'm not going to be able to use it, so. Oh. Yeah. That's a shame. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to donate it at the moment. Yes, well, if I had more room, <laughs> <laughs> I'd give it a go. <laughs> well, the, only, the only thing I, I mean, I just whack it on Gumtree Facebook Marketplaces. If you want to get rid of it quick, put it on Facebook Marketplace, so it'll be gone by the night. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't do Facebook. Oh, oh dear. You really well, should. I suppose mm, Gumtree is the other place. Mm. Got but all my market. stuff has gone on Bournemouth Recycle. All uh, this, oh. you know, loads do and loads they, of things. Do they um, collect? Yeah. Oh, they do, yeah. right. Yeah, oh yeah, you just say, you know, if you, you know, just put a description on and say what, what it is and what, what you've got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of places. Yeah. There. That would take that. Okay, I shall me. explore that then. Thank you. Explore well, it. Yes. Me, it's a marketing yeah. opportunity. <laughs> it's got a pound yeah. sign on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's me. No, it's um, it's quite nice clearing out. It's <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Oh, mm. that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. He looks a very cuddly little. Yeah, 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 doesn't he? Whose one's that? That's from Anne. Yeah. That's lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Definitely. so friendly. Yeah, mm. they do. Yeah, they all look like cuddly that, toys. Yeah. That as well. <laughs> Harold did one. She enjoyed Every, I think everyone enjoyed it. Mm. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. The thing is, I mean, there's no real difference to this than doing a portrait. So if you like, if you think of it as a portrait, <laughs> oh, yeah. you do a part portrait and you go, oh, this is hard. I think well, I'm really painting a marmot. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> my wow. like, my like, yes, <laughs> yeah. Everyone, he looks as if he's yeah. looking for something, doesn't he? Does, doesn't he? Does, doesn't he? And I've just realised, looking at the other ones, that mine hasn't got any whiskers. I obviously forgot them. Oh, I don't think you would have seen them anyway. <laughs> he's, um, he's looking for a... He's got a I didn't even notice it had whiskers. Um, no, I didn't either. <laughs> it's really I've, looking I've for... A, whiskers on. Oh. But it's really... Yeah, it's, it's, it's doing... A, it's keeping its eye open for a predator, an mm. owl or... Mm. Mm. Yeah, he's doing that a bit like those um meerkats do. He does it while the others mm. get on and do stuff. He's yeah, the, it's the watcher. He's the watcher. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. Who <laughs> <laughs> did that one? <laughs> those lovely fingers. I couldn't do those. Mm. Are, they were a bit hard, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, because it was that was why I chose it because it's so so many um awkward techniques to get through. Like one minute you're painting in the negative, next minute you're you know you're painting the space around the fingers to bring out the fingers, and um because you don't paint the fingers because. They'll disappear in in amongst the fur. Mm. Yeah, so that was um, a tense exercise. Mm. Well, I put um, is that another one on my? I must have done, but no, that's um, that, that's mine. That's I think. Yeah, it? yeah, well done. I put it up on um, the gallery on 
paint my picture and everyone was very happy about it but i did go back over mine with i redid the background with a wash of raw sienna i think mm -hmm. um got the little the watercolor pencils out and just doodled a bit here and there but you can only go so far you know an hour an hour or so is more than enough <laughs> yeah. on, on, on a front. well like I said last week you know I've never been a great thing about um botanical you know realistic things just take a photo if you're that keen but, well, yeah I think everyone did a good job on this one I mean, it's very cute. Yeah. Mm. Like I say, it's really a. I, I I've start I've got this thing in my mind's so eye now that you're not painting a, you know, an animal is the same as a. As a portrait, today's one's a bit of a nightmare. Well, I say that tentatively, but. It, it looks. Like I said in my notes, it's, it looks really straightforward and simple yeah. <laughs> until you start to paint it, and then it becomes um, quite challenging. So in the end, I thought, hmm, I have done. I did do a doodle. The black and white one went a bit. Uh, mm. The image went a bit wonky. I think that's. When sometimes when you reduce something, it it makes it go all funny, which is what I've done there. I think. Um, yeah, well, that's what, <laughs> on my one. I I thought, hang on, I've got, I want to make it a bit more interesting. <laughs> so I put old, old Fred in his bike. I've rubbed the tree out. I thought I'm going a bit over the top here. I looked at it this morning. And I thought, no. Steady on, Dave. <laughs> I did have the odd prop, but got a bit carried away. Should we have a go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Getting early lunch. Yeah, at, at that point, I better say goodbye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would hopefully have up and running next week. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. Bye. 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 used to be called was it the post i don't know what it was called but i think it was all part of the same thing wasn't it at some point right i'm going to crack, go for this let me jump around today <laughs> actually kept my jumper on I, it's not so warm as i think we are recording aren't we girls yeah yep. yeah yeah <coughs> i'm definitely not doing this one again <laughs> i've got some tissue clean bit of tissue Naples yellow, if anyone's got any Naples yellow, could be a handy colour to use. Quite I've got... Isn't it? I have. It's slightly, yeah. Yeah. I have got some, I don't use it very often. No, I haven't used it for a while either. Well, I don't know, the way we've been, the subjects we've been doing lately haven't been very... Um, in my hand very heavy in sky work has it it's always mm -hmm. been i always used to use it in skies so i might need to come down a bit now. there you go 
you, Chris. The one I've, I've that was on the Langton paper. I just had a little doodle to see what would happen. Could we do it? Mm. Cable here. Yeah. Um, the only Naples yellow I've got is, or I've come put my hand to, is in the um, St. Petersburg um, wardrobe paint. So I'm going to nick a bit out of there. And then I haven't even got the reference photo. I don't know where that's gone. So, but I did do that doodle. So I'm going to just borrow that. The usual start get a big brush and get some water involved. Me and Gordon were having a chat earlier in the end of last week about masking fluid. Yeah. He had to... It went wrong, didn't it? Yeah, he had a faux pas with his. And uh, so anyway, I went out and I've, I've ordered a masking fluid pen, Molot Molotov or Molotov, something like that. <laughs> I've used... It's a different colour. It's really bright blue I have, I'm fingers crossed it'll come off and I also <laughs> bought this one which is masking fine liner from Frisk which I thought they're the the people that I use the tissue from and they're really good guys but as soon as I try to use it I'll show you quickly you have to pick it's got one of those needle things in I started to use it and it came out as a blob. No, it's doing it there. I want a I'm fine sorry. line, but it's... It's off the screen. Yeah. Uh, hang on, I'll do it on a bit of card. Big pun. Yeah, it comes out as a... It's got the fine needle, but when you start and turn... Look, it comes, out, it comes yeah. out like a, like a blob. Uh. I want a fine line, but the yeah. very start of the fine line is a blob. What's the point of that? So that got my right in the bin then. And then it, it was on here <laughs> where this bit is. And I I waited for a while for it to dry before rubbing it off, but obviously it wasn't dry enough. And uh, it smudged, so mm. I'm not sure how my picture's going to end up because of that. I couldn't rub it off, and I thought that's Gordon's put a jinx on my picture. <laughs> it's just not me then that gets in a mess with it. <laughs> no. no well, it was only on because I didn't, it hadn't dried. You see, it looked like I'd left it for quite a while. And thought, oh, that's okay. Anyway, so anybody watching those Frisk fine liners. Okay. They don't work. The stuff is too the um the blue um doodar is too too liquid. And it's been resting for a good 24 or 40, 48 hours now, so I haven't shaken it. And just in case, I thought, well, maybe that'll make a difference, but I haven't. And it didn't, or it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear I've got um, oh, I have um, remind me to say something about the yellow that I've got in my palette later when I use it I'm not going to use it now anyway I've got a little bit of this Naples yellow here so I've made my paper nice and wet a dollop of this Naples yellow I'm not using my palette here because I want it to come out fairly clean I'll do it I'm going in I'm going in darker because <laughs> I want it to stand out a bit I'm just mixing to one side a little bit of blue and zero and crimson 
to talk and put a roll up of it on. Technical term. I think that'll be it for that now. I'll try and blend it together mm -hmm. with a flat brush, I believe. Just have a look. I'm using that Two Rivers Meat board car. Uh, it's supposed to be watercolor paper, but it's really, really, um, really thick. And I thought I'd bought a not finish. I wasn't bothered to check the order. A not finished paper, but every time I look at it, I think Dan mentioned it. It looks more like a rough. Uh, yeah, finished. It always yeah. is quite rough, isn't it? Two rivers. Yeah, it's got for a not finish. It's I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't know what I got, but um... a not finish is like fine pimples, but this stuff is like oh, I've got a piece in my hand. It's really oh, no, it's got Ooh. big. That's, that's not that's not a not finished. That's Looks like that stuff you put on the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> I'm, like I've got a little bit of this turquoise, cobalt turquoise here, and I'm just plopping it around. I might need more water yet. Because this board is, that's the other thing about it, is it sucks up so. It's not my dog, is it? No, it's mine. I think somebody's collecting something. I said I'd leave it in the porch. Mm -hmm. Just go and check. <laughs> so anyway, try. I can try to get that sort of misty feel to it. It's just a matter of balancing the water. I just want to get a, a little bit more. As I use it, this paper is soaking it up. So it's sort of put a mouth a bit. It's just a turquoise, turquoise and a little bit of the crimsony pinky colour. I don't know why. I'm drawn to add a little bit of that in there. I don't think a totally white sky is going to work. It's a bit of a daft thing to do, really. Do a test on one paper and then paint on another. You're asking for trouble. I think we'll have a lonely lunch today. Uh, Now, the next <coughs> wonderful event was to mix up some shadow. You've got a choice. You can use a, a light blue and a red to give you that shadowy tone. <gasps> Every time, isn't it? Every time I touch that um, colour, permanent rose it takes the edge off everything but if you're if you're a cheapskate or bored and it always happens when i put um my palette mix up um put new paint in I forget how hmm, soft it is. Put my brush in it, of course, whoosh. There it all go. It just destroys it. Burnt sienna is the secret. And the blue, that'll give us a nice... To forget what I said a minute ago. Blue and burnt sienna will give us the the grey 
shadowy tone. Might as well mix up a load of it now. I'm stuck in it. Burnt sienna and blue. I've got there eventually. It's not too muddy, I don't think. Put a dab on there, see what happens. Yeah, and um, hopefully if, it's, if my water is still dry, if it's still damp enough, I can drop in some fuzzy areas in the background. I need to go up a bit. But this is a, I said it, it looks simple, but it's not. It's really, really fiddly to get that feel of, um, to move across a bit now. And leave less is more, I think. Hopefully it's still nice and damp at the bottom. But it is proper watercolour painting. Dun, 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 dun. Got some green here. And mix that up with some of that um, lethal red. Crimson. That give me a a really dark variation of the theme of the shadow so that I can blend that in. I have put a horizontal line. I don't know if I did it. It's just an intuitive thing for me. So it's a sort of an horizon line. Just up there. So this dark color, I want it to the foreground, but I want it to be more green, but I've started started it off in a grayish tone. I'm just going to add a bit more of the green, <gasps> wrong, wrong palette. Just bring it out. This is one of those pictures where Anything goes, I think. Well, no, you, it does. It's not anything goes. It's you got to use your imagination. Who used to say? I used to say that oh, I haven't got any imagination. Someone mm. used to say that, and then do and then go ahead and do an, an amazing job. But you can see, I'm trying to, to get that shadowy tone up there. Now I'm adding green to the bottom. I've got a lot of water involved here. That was, ah, that was it. The, <laughs> I couldn't find, I didn't, I don't have any cadmium yellow as far as I'm aware. But I haven't found any in my palette. So I was going through my paint to top up the yellow compartment in my box, in my paint box. And it's got, um, oh, it's, I bought it ages ago. It's Indian yellow. It's Indian golden yellow, Indian gold, gold yellow or something. And um, it's seriously strong stuff. Just make a bit of burnt umber here, just to drop in the foreground the really front of it but I'm not forgetting the green I'll add a little bit of blue to the green give it a dark I want it darker at the front that's all that darker tone yeah what I was saying about that yellow um Indian yellow whatever it is and um I just sort of look for some odd reason I put it into Google like you do <laughs> find out what it was you know when it came up it's Indian yellows very um important pigment no it wasn't I wouldn't google it it was on 
um, TV uh, hidden masterpiece thing on BBC last night. That's what it was. And I remember thinking, quirky, that's where it came. Indian Yellow uh, um, allegedly is derived from cows, cows' urine that have been fed on mangoes. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I, I couldn't believe it. I had to write it down. I thought I'll ban. Forget that. <laughs> so the yellow that I'm using comes from cow pee, cow's urine that are fed on. <coughs> that ain't, that's got to be a myth, hasn't it? Mm. Well, he was in. Oh, last night it was on BBC Two where they they find a painting in a posh place or, or in a place, and then they say, you know what, that looks like a, a Van Dyke or whatever, like it was last night. And they go off and try and justify it and get it upgraded. Last night it was a Titian, 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 tissue. That red is seriously dodgy. I'm not, um, looks like I'm mucking about, but I'm actually adding variations of the colour into the foreground at the moment. And I've just, as I said, my in the meantime, my trees or my hidden doodahs have sort of <laughs> decided to evaporate into the, into the paper, which is what I, one of the things I was saying, this, it looks simple, but it isn't. Hopefully then, now you sort of get to see why I made up, mixed up so much of that shadow color over here in the palette. I mixed up a big load right from the start. Now that, I'm just using the tip of the brush. Or the, if you haven't got one of these with a pointy bit on it, use a brush on its side. A rigger on its side will do quite a nice job, I suspect. But it's such a um, difficult exercise. Well, challenging exercise. For a... You keep saying that. Are you trying to put us off? <laughs> no, it's a challenging. Yeah. Oh, I'm dreaming that. It's bound to go wrong. No. <laughs> it's a challenging exercise in watercolour to get that, you know, balance of water and paint. It's worth the effort, though, because. If you get it right, it looks quite nice. I don't think you can. I don't think there is a wrong. But it's a question of timing. You'll find out you, as you go, as you go through it, you'll think, oh yeah, see what he means. If you get it just right, it looks it works and if you get it you keep doing it and you think hang on the paper's still too dry the paper's not wet enough i think i pref i err on the caution of on the side rather of making the paper good and wet to start with because all that's going to happen is the, the, your colour, like it did with me a minute ago, is going to soak in to the, to the paper. So that you've got the option of going back over, you know, of adding a little bit more colour as it dries in. Whereas if you did it the other way and it was too dry, it would, it would stain the paper very quickly and you wouldn't, well, in my opinion, you wouldn't be able to, you'd find it harder to add 
more because you you would you want the opposite you'd want to take it away it's just a matter of standing back looking at it but the colors um there's no hard and fast rule on the color for example if i add more if you want it to be a bit more blue add some blue to the shadow tone and drop and you've got a whole new tone for your um background misty tree things i'm stuck with this rigor now I'll just drop in a few of those <clears throat> variation isn't it well, i know what's going to happen the one the doodle that i did the other day is going to end up being better than the <laughs> than the other one there's less pressure in it on different paper as well as, as i say But it's one of those scenarios, one of those things where as the paper dries, as it sort of dries off, you you have to look at it and think, oh, wow, look, you, there's a, I can just see a little hint of tree trunk here and there as it's drying off. So you just, you just add a bit to it. So it's not, but it's in the mist, isn't it? So you can't, it's not, it's not defined in, nearly said defined in stone, defined in wood. But you can see how wet the paper is. It's still spreading around now. I think I'm there on that. I'm just going to leave it. One thing I, Consider doing, I might, I'll try it in a sec, just to see if it works somewhere on my wonderful palette. I've got a spiky brush. Everyone should have a spiky brush. which is like a an oil, old oil brush, really, or do the similar th sort of thing. You can use that. If you want to put in some hint of foliage or we well, won't see anything, but you could just put a few spiky bits in, a few dabs, you might get a, a result. But this one's got a, sawn off end so it can very gently lift up put some twiggy bits in you won't see them straight away probably but as it dries in they do does happen but it is so faint it's what we want I think I'm going to put a little, you know, because you see, I might be able to see it on the screen, but when it dries back, it will form a little rivulet for the paint to fall into. I think I want to go down a, bit, a little bit more on the bottom. I'm lucky, really, I've, um, because over at uh, Stamp It Marsh, which is just down the road from me, you get this sort of scene quite often. The bit I was worried about is here, where that masking fluid went stained into the paper. So... While I'm th just going to put some extra, I've got to disguise it or try and make it look like it's not, it's part of the picture. So I'm just adding a little bit of extra dark on top because I can't wash it out now. 
I tried um, lifting it with a putty rud rubber, rudder, putty rubber, and it wouldn't it wouldn't come out. It was stuck, stained into the paper big time. But it's all the same earth colours: burnt umber, blue. Try and get some darky colours. Same thing. As it's drying, I can see. I think you'll enjoy this. And if, if you do it the sort of way I'm doing it, with a lot of water and stand back, you can let the water, as it dries and soaks back, be amazed at the sort of effects you get and you can start seeing things in in the in the mist <laughs> like that's too i don't like that bit there because it's too you can pull pull some of the color down interesting but it's not interesting at all maybe i've gone a bit too high up thinking about it can we do anything about that <laughs> don't know. well we could we could try just try and use a bit of tissue and lift a bit off and just dab a few it's just my my view my view is I just want to lower the tops of the, the shadow a bit. Fair enough. The beauty of it is that we can dry it off with a hairdryer or when it's dry and just you can re rehydrate it and just put an extra very fat and another coat on it. I don't know if the dog's happy or not. The lady came to um a bit digital art here. The lady came the, the dog groomer lady came for the dog. Nobody was expecting her. <laughs> Nor the dog, because he was by the door barking and as they opened the door and it's like, oh oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the dog is like, oops. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Mm -hmm. So I'll have a half a dog in a minute because his fur grown so thick the last few days. All right, what's the head right? So if I can gently tease this off. Better we can get the uh, mousy fluid off. <laughs> Looking smelly. I think that's what it looks like when I dry the effort out. The paper is so absorbent. I can. I think I've. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do here. Yin and yang. I don't mind that all being very faint, but I think the yang to it would be to try and make the, the coast and the guy with the push belt as bright as I can. To make it look um, stand out. I don't know what I mean by
I was saying it's a good, good thing to um, mix up quite a bit of the uh, the shadowy tone right from the start because you'll you'll be surprised how much you use. There's a tree here. Yeah? I'm just going a bit of colour. More that shadowy stuff. Clean water on the bottom. So I've dried it off, so I've got to make him. <laughs> Use the side of the brush, really, but. Bless you. Bless you. Bless, you. <laughs> Bless me. Oh. Oh dear. What do you reckon the chances are of getting this mask in for the I've dried it a bit. So. Wow. That's just using my... I've got a rubber here somewhere. Sometimes sometimes it's easier with a... Oops, I had a rubber. I think it's just... Ah. I think this is a... Yeah, it is. I think this is a Chrissy rubber from ages ago. Mm -hmm. No, nope. my finger's working better. Yeah. yeah. Like Gordon says, we're going off of, of um, masking fluid. I got to mention in dispatches. Hello, Dave. I've got nothing left on my fingers. It's gone. Tops of my fingers have disappeared. Hello, Gordon. I know I'm not Dave. Mm -hmm. I was just thanking David for uh, mentioning me in dispatches. That was all. Yeah. <laughs> you could say hello, Chris. What have I done now? Hello, Chris. Hi. I thought you were talking, listening to me, Dave. You just mentioned my uh, problems with masking fluid. Yeah. Yeah. Are you still having trouble? I haven't lifted the paper. <coughs> I haven't lifted the um, paper yet. Eat your breakfast. I found a, a trick with that. If you do lift the paper, Good you can use acrylic know. white, thin acrylic white, and paint over it. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody seems very keen on that. That didn't that didn't go down enthusiastically for the same. <laughs> that on for it. it. It has come off, so it's not all bad. Now it's a question of a little bit on there, I can feel. Question day. Could you draw draw it in after you've painted? That bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, because it is quite light or a quite misty mm. sort of feel to it. The masking fluid's all right. You just got to <laughs> be more patient. Yeah. I'm a bit like Carol. It come, the paper <coughs> comes. Yeah. Or I get it on too thick and it doesn't come the right shape. Does yeah. It? You sort of have blobby bits. <clears throat> yeah. I think the... I don't know what the real answer is to that. It's just a question of having a play, really. The um, time-consuming... As I say, the, the time-consuming bit is going to be... Adding some information, details to the figures. Oh, oh, ooh, that was a big blob. <laughs> I'm going to mask me through. I've got a big blob of... It's just a flesh tone that we've got in my palette. So I'm using that. Uh, I've got this... <laughs> I don't know which one it is. One of these yellows is the golden... 
Indian yellow made out of mango juice, fed the cows. I believe that. I don't know. So anyway, I'm hoping it will come out quite strong. I'm using a rigger. I've, I've set the scene. So let's see what happens. This guy's got a jacket on, so I'm just going to paint the jacket. There is a bit of masking fluid remaining on there, I think. It's morning Fred, this is. Famous painting. It's not going to stay that colour, but I just need to... A bright undercolour. And I thought, well, this is about as bright as it gets, this stuff. I'll put a blob on his head, on his hat, and then Whack in some green on top of it. Whatever green comes out, sort of viridian. Actually, thinking about it. Ooh. Meet raw sienna. Where is it? Ooh, I keep forgetting I've topped up my little boxes. On the paint, on the paint box, just touch it with a brush, and I get a big blob of colour, which is perhaps what I need. I think this guy's got a hand on his there, so I'm going to put that in. Walk away, walk away, raw sienna. I'm going to paint his trousers. Just under painting, raw sienna. Hang on. I'll watch this. No, that's fine. <coughs> Bless you. Ooh. Is that? Has he been done? Is that the post? <laughs> oh, was that Dyson? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Frodo coming up. <laughs> no, Frodo's out the front in um, the mobile <coughs> dog groomer ladies turned up. Oh right. Sad. So he's gone. She, 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 um, she has a big fan. I just plug. She pokes um. What do you call it? Cable through, through the through the door, and off you go. You know. Mm. She takes them off to have a go at him. I did hear a little yelp earlier. I hope she hasn't heard it. <laughs> well, you can't avoid it sometimes if they're um, grooming, you know? Mm. Because we'll catch a bit or something. I hope that's what it is. Well, I don't say anything to James or Mel, otherwise they'll be in there. It's <laughs> got to sort of go with the flow. Put a bit of shadow area in here. Mm, maybe too much. No, that's fine. And there's a colour. Colour is irrelevant. We should, we should be talking of homes, not colour. Colour value, light and shade. Forget all the rest. Uh, I want some really nice darks, a bit of shadowy colour from last week that was in the palette. Let's see if I can get a really nice fine line. Look at where his bike wheels are. That's not too bad. 
Well, there's a pokey up bit here. These are nice rigorous, these evergreen ones. Just poke it out. Paint what you see. Well, I'm trying to paint what I see, Dave. <laughs> Put a little bar across there and then you can have the seats there. Something like that. And this is more. You can always add more. Taking it off is freaking hard work. But again, it's that that um, old friend of ours painting in the negative because you're not painting the bike, you're painting the shadowy bits that are going around the bike. And hopefully the bike turns up. Something like that. Oh, I did put his hand in, so I can go across a bit then. Well done. A bit more burnt uh, raw sienna up there. And there. And then we'll go away from that area. And because I'm left-handed, I'll start on the... Start from the right and work across. Put a little bit of the... Mm -hmm golden yellow over there. Don't worry. I'll send you a picture of this as a as a reference one to play with. But if you've got any props of your own, I mean I've just looked at it early. Um the other day and I thought it's a bit bland. Needs a bit of something to tell the story. Well, hopefully. But there is some of this, a hint of this yellow in the sky. So I'm thinking I put some, put some on the posts. On one side, it'll look like The sun's shining on everything else, but the the mist and the horribleness. It's restrained. Perhaps not on there. It's strong colour though. Remember, lucky I've got a a fine edge on this rigger. What did I say? Mango. On occasion, you're in. Oh, dear, I do. I don't. Good news, I think James hasn't been sick for a day or two, I think. Okay. He was up just now when I was floating around. We never speak in the morning <laughs> anyway. <laughs> one of those well I, when I've tried to say morning to him or something like he stuck his he usually sticks his hand up will indicate not talking so ever since then I, I tend not to say a word I think I could be really To say Indian yellow. <coughs> I haven't put any on my brush for ages. Over here and there, it's um wire. Just put a line so I know where it is. Or attack it with some dark colours. But I've been mixing up blue over here with burnt umber anyway in the palette. But there's a little bit of 
permanent rows over there as well. So now it's the drop in some of that to the other to the post on the other side of the yellow, or betwixt it and between it. See what happens. Just go with whatever the brush decides to do. But I seriously recommend these these wiggles evergreen. A bit too blue, this. I'll have to go over it with some a bit more burnt umber in there. I'm just leaving bits of the white there as well. So it looks like there's a bit of texture, a bit of free dimension. Roger, we're having an early lunch. Mm. You reckon, huh? Well, I've got a way to go, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting away that easy. Drying out, yeah, the water. Bit of clean water on it. Mm. Still got a lot of work still on the foreground. Bring it back to life. But that's my um uh, beach groin method. Paint sort of a a yellowy burnt sienna on one side and then drop in the dark on the other. Little squirrel on the fence. Gives it a little well. yeah. just makes it lift a bit. Find a fine line here. One, two, three, four, five, and six there. A little bit more. Pop up the paint. One. Oh blimey. Missed one. And then we've got to go down. Oh, of course. Make it look like there's a wire mesh thing. Won't get them all. Oh. Trying to get the very fine edge of the brush. Not too bad. Same there. Just go over where I put the little gold line. Lovely jubbly. Got some more of that shadow colour left in the palette that I've been using on the trees. Drop a bit of that in here and there. And then have a go. I think I've got a line across each one of these. Well, I have some on it, isn't it? Well, I was told you it'd be a big sigh. That was a, there was one then. I've got some shadow colour, so I need to drop it over the top of this. Goldy jacket. So I said it, the um, bright colours were just uh, to underpaint for putting a bit of shadow on it, a bit more of a a lot a different tone. Put it on one side of his jacket. It's only the squirrel, I think. And you put a, a dark line on the left hand side of the posts. Otherwise, the shadow seems to be coming from the wrong side. Oh, oh, highly technical, isn't it? There you go. 
Mm -hmm. I don't usually put shoes on for people, but no hint of a shoe there. We'll put touch the bike too much and want the bike to appear rather than do that. Now I'm going to get some raw sienna and warm up the foreground. Why not even use a bit of that golden kind of Well, I've got it here, so I might as well. My favourite colour made out of Indian urine. I'm not going to. I'm going to forget. Oh, no. That was naughty. I'm going to forget that, Mary. Really. A few lines in here. Usual thing when you get a nice thing going with a brush, keep going. Nice. Can't describe it, it's just something that happens. You're going like wish wash with a brush, and it, the tone that's coming off or the way it's working feels good. So you just think, oh, keep adding it. Over the shadow, methinks, add a little bit of shadow onto it. There are no strong shadows because it's that type of part of the day, isn't it? Dog paint there. Extend that one. Just sit them down a bit. Got lots of paint here and there. What time are we going to go? What time do you say we're going to go? Um, she said 12, but I think we're going to go in a minute. Okay. Go a few minutes earlier. Go That's it. Okay. Early lunch or what? <laughs> We've got to go. Oh, did... The, um, could do with a little bit of warmer. Ah, that colour's lethal, isn't it? Got a little bit of pink here, so I'm just going to put that on his face, just to make it look a bit more prominent. It'll fade back a bit, and same there is a hand there. I think there's a hand there as well. Other than that, it's gone a lot better than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. That's me, that is. Out with my bike, over the marsh. Need to extend this post. And that one. Bit of extra dark on me. This paper is absolutely soaking wet. I'm surprised I didn't put any colour on it at all without it splurging out all over the place. Just let it dry off. And I expect we'll start to see lots of extra doodahs, puffs of grass, all kinds of things are suddenly turn up next um 
the next day. There you go. I'm I'm happy with that. Am I? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it looks good. Well, it's not complicated. Um, you could, I I could do that better there, but mm, I don't know. Am I that fussed about it? Well, just to prove the point, you can. No, that's just dirty water out of the brush, out of the pot. So I can just <laughs> see how daft it is that you can. Okay, it might need a little bit of shade, but you can. No, it's just that no, is just the dirt. <laughs> it's more dirty water than than anything. But you could just add a little, a few extra. Defining moments, defining bits, extend it. Just drop them in. There you go. That fills it out even more. Awesome. What watercolours should be, isn't it? Quick, simple. And if you've got a brush like this, or you can make one by smashing a... Um, ordinary brush on its side you can just poke in a few accentuating bits a bit dodgy getting it's doing we'll let him glow until it's dry when he's dry I might just put a little <laughs> a little extra bit on him I don't want it to be too strong. Just a, mm. just a subtle hint of, you know, when he's dry, I'll get rid of his halo. Otherwise, I'll touch it and he'll smudge everywhere. Well, gee, get an early lunch. Mm. Well, I could knock off another one, but <laughs> my heart's not in it. <laughs> no, when you do that, if you say if you do another one, you're invariably it will it won't work. <laughs> no. Just go. No, no, no. I, I intuitively know that as soon as you do that, everything goes. You have to rest on your laurels sometimes. To sort of say that's it, that'll do. Tidy. That's tidy in it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a bit more of a story than just the plain old. Those views are very nice, but they don't. They're not easy to paint on a small scale. You need them. To, if you're going to do those, it's the the landscape expanse, and you can see I don't know how many degrees, but it's like two hundred odd degrees in your vision. But you can't paint, put that on a piece of canvas because you ain't got one. You need a piece of canvas sort of four miles wide just to <laughs> get that effect. <laughs> so in order to achieve that effect, what we do is we paint a smaller scale of it and then incorporate a figure or a, an object, a prop, I keep calling them, I, I prefer that way of saying them. They're props. Hmm, quite like that. So, let's not go too complicated. But it isn't easy. It's harder than it, these, these sort of that makes a difference. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it looks like a traditional sort of paint, but it looks when you first look at the the reference picture, you think, "Oh, that ain't gonna take long." But when you start to do it, you suddenly realise that is, it's hard. It's a bit of a run back there. See how I manage with the crew. I don't know. 
Mm. It crossed my mind just now. Well, earlier when I was thinking about it, I thought, I don't really know what to say to Chris. Mm. I might try, if I can find them now I've tidied up, I might try doing it in pastel. In acrylics, you have to do it in the reverse. Yeah. You have to... Um, Put yeah, the darker the bit on and then try and blend in the, um, mm. the acrylic mm -hmm. over the top. I, I sort of intuitively know how to do it, but in my mind's eye, I'm saying don't go there because it's going to be really hard. It, well, it's no, it's no easier than it is in watercolour, for sure. Just put a bit of it'll do in the back so i said right from the start mix up a wadge of um the shadowy color which going back was is i used the turquoise blue the camera there. I used the turquoise blue and added a bit of well, I started off with red the crimson and thought mm, that's not the colour then then I remembered that burnt sienna and blue gives you the more more of a greyish tone but you've got a blue a hint of blue in it so that that worked quite nice with that with the foliage around you know that distant feel of misty feel to it but if you want I added a little bit more red at one stage touched it like that and went ooh so then you had to add more blue see what I mean you can just keep mm. twisting it and I ended up with quite because this brush soaks it up anyway quite a nice pool of that tone that you're going to need for the whole picture even now, I've mixed that up. Even now, I can still add, in fact, trying to get too muddy, I can still add a little bit of extra bits here and there. Excuse Just me, but that. we've got to go. We'll okay. see you next week. Oh. Hey, everybody. Bye. Enjoy your lunch. Bye. 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 Well, I've, you've got an early lunch here anyway, so. <laughs> go on. I'm quite pleased with that. Bye bye. Bye. Hey, cool. yeah. I think I've, I've done a good in there. Yeah. Cheers. And it's going to dry, dry, uh, dry back quite a lot. That mount makes such a difference. Yeah. Uh, it's a yeah. traditional colour as well. Yeah, it really brings it out. Mm. Yeah, and it's off of, it's not laying flat either, hang on. Let's bring it there. No, I can't. So the camera makes it, yeah, there you go. It's a bit flatter there. Mm. Yeah. Ta da! Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. I don't know about yeah. the man's bike. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking a bit too hard. Yeah, I might miss yeah, that bit. I'll be mine, it'd be easier. Yeah. Yeah, we all end up with something different. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I hope so, because that was that was the plan, you know, that the the background bit is what it is. You you can play and have it's an it's an experiment, it's a an exercise in playing with colour and water, but then you can. I thought what I would do is I'd have a little think or look back at some of the pictures that you've done in the past, and look at a prop, you know, a figure or an element of it that you you felt com comfortable doing, and yeah. just do that. Use that, repeat, reprieve it, reprise it, repri uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm good at English. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> don't put one in at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be easier. Yeah. You could put um two oh. kids, two kids with a big brolly in if you want. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> no <definitely not. laughs> Okay. We're looking right. simple. Yeah. Well, that's what this week is about, really. It's about simple, but it ain't so simple. Yeah. yeah. It's to remind that initially you look at something, you think, oh, that's easy. Or that, oh, that oh, must be yeah. with splash bosh. But it is. But when you when I did it, um, where is it to change the camera? When I When I did it just when I did it just on its own, I thought to myself, well, that's ten minutes, you know, five minutes. There's got to be more to it. Mm -hmm. uh, initially, that is good. It is it is nice, and it was good, um, interesting to do, but it isn't. It isn't the final thing, isn't it? It doesn't tell a story of what I was saying just now. If it was on a big scale, on a big picture with a, you know, you, you just won't get away with it. It looks like what it is. It looks like um, a watercolour doodle work, uh, test on how to do something. Well, you can't, we don't want that. We want, want a finished piece of work. So hence the reason I sat down and thought, we need some props in this. It needs to tell the story. Remember? More so. Mm. Even, the, even the poor little marmot is telling a story. Because <laughs> he's looking around, isn't he? He's, yeah. As soon as you realise that he's looking for... <laughs> <laughs> looking out because there's an owl coming down to get him or a, some sort of raptor. <laughs> Yeah. Right. It's got a feel right. to it. So that's mm. right. Good that picture. I'm... <laughs> yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah. That's it's, a proper um, watercolour, that. Although um, it's not my favourite subject, I'm quite yeah. looking forward to the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. there's some good ones coming up because um, Gordon sent me his picture painting. Highland waterfall stream. That's going to be an interesting one. Uh, mm -hmm. Joyce sent me um, an old lady portrait. That looks good. Mm -hmm. A hat on and everything. That looks like fun. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So that's just off that paint my paint, paint my photo thing. You know. Yeah. Well, oh, right. yeah, I, tried, I tried to look at that the other day, but I couldn't. Um, don't think I had the right uh, one up. Is there a particular one? I'll send you a link. Okay. Yeah. I'll send you the well, yeah. I'll send I'll add I'll add some some links. Um yeah, you just join it, just sign up and then you can log in. Right, right. Um go just go through it every now and then. Yeah. The lady with the still life, she sent me she was everyone. The, the, they send me a text or an email saying, "Wow, Harvey, your paintings are you know wonderful." So we're not wasting our time because mm. yours are or as good or as bad as mine. So, um, mm. you know that people do notice them. That the one we did, the video of the. The winter tree and that that I borrowed the fence from off of there. Um, that's got mm. like three hundred or people looked at that now. I don't right. know what happened to that video. So it's gone a bit by 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 our group standards. It's gone viral. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you hit a thousand, mm. if you hit a thousand, <laughs> you get YouTube write to you and say, "Do you want a few bob? We'll monetize it." Um, Oh and they start mm. paying you, but that's when we're not doing that. Mm. 
I enjoyed that tree one. That was the first one I did with my right hand. After oh, yours was lovely. Yours was really yeah. nice. I did you enjoy get it. all the snow bits on it, couldn't you, with the white? Actually, I, when I put it in my Facebook gallery, my brother commented on it, which was yeah. a high acclaim because he is <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. He said he liked the sky. He didn't. He never says much. He didn't go on Facebook, or he, he doesn't appear on Facebook very much. But occasionally, he'll comment on something I've done. Mm, which is good. I praise indeed. Mm. <laughs> well, as I say, I was watching a landscape painter of the thing for about ten minutes the other day. They were in Brighton. Okay. And I'll say goodbye because Peter wants me. All right. Okay, no, see no, you next no, week, Carol. Yeah, okay, no. good luck with it all. Hi. Some, yeah. of pictures, some of the pictures and the, the work that they were praising on there, I was thinking, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And then last night I was looking, and I had this before. I used to follow El Greco when I was, I don't know, 14, 15. I, I was into his. I researched all this stuff and looked at his paintings and it was like, wow, how do they do that? And then I went to London to see him and seeing him up close. And I thought, well, that's bloody rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> and these are like old great masters. And it was last night they were looking at Titians and things like that, which is about the same era. And I was thinking 1500s. And I'm thinking, if they're great from eight twelve foot away when you get up close you suddenly see all the you think that's no better than i than i'm doing yeah i'm just, i was expecting them to be like photographs you know everything <laughs> but when you get there the where the red meets the the beige and the, it ain't that good and you see yeah. these costume jewelries and all that when you get there you think oh then it's just blobs of it isn't as fine and intricate as you think it is. Yeah. So once you realise that, you think, hang on, what we're doing here and what I'm doing ain't so bad. Mm. I just need to marry the, the, yeah. the bit where you look at it and you go, wow, that's good. Even though you know there are bits in there that aren't... I've said it a million times, haven't I? That people have looked at your picture and said, cool, I love that. Oh, how did you get all that detail? And you think that is the point. There isn't that much detail. The detail's not there. Yeah. You're putting it, your brain is putting it in. You can't get away from that. And when that picture dries, I, it tricks me as well because I suddenly start seeing little branches or little things in it, in the path. And you, you do it all the time. You keep going on about seeing clouds and curtains and faces and curtains, but it's the same with your picture as well. Because when yeah. it dries, it you'll get like a little faint shady bit, and you think, Oh, blimey, yeah, if I just turn your hands out, that'll suddenly turn into a mm. tree stump or a, a leaf. I'm doing it at the moment with, um, I've no, got two sets, I'll show you. Um, change this video. There's a one I'm doing for Herbie. Um, ah, that's how I got to. This, this one there that I've been doing for for Herbie, for David of his uh, boss's house in I don't know where it is Norfolk somewhere and I gradually I do a bit, let it dry on the path in amongst all the um, lavender plants and all the rest of it, it's gradually coming out I've only just done these two bits at the, here but I can as it's drying I can suddenly see a little more you know more and more is coming out of it mm. or gradually 
healed it up. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm. But it's the same principle. Right, I've got to go. I've just right. had a message that and somebody's coming around, so I'll see you next week. Everybody's running off. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's something you said, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Now I've, I've got so many people collecting bits and pieces that I've put on free right. sold in the marketplace. And somebody's right. just messaged me to say they're two minutes away, so I better get downstairs. Okay. Okay. Have a good right. week. See you next week. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Good Dave. Luck. Yeah, we need. Yeah, we need it. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. You'll be fine. <laughs> bye for now. <laughs>